All right, so we wanted to kind of give you guys an update on where we are at with our experiments in nutritional testing and sort of exploring this alternative method to fertilizing our bonsai. Um, we started about 12 months ago to employ this strategy of taking tissue samples of the trees, having those tested, getting sort of a specific recommendation based on that tree's individual needs, and then applying nutrition sort of based on those tests. The idea behind it was to move away from sort of a broad brush blanket sort of application of uh, fertilizer and be much more targeted with the theory that the trees would respond uh, with a better health, better vigor, and also a stronger resistance to, to pests and disease, allowing us to sort of pull back on our need to rely on chemical interventions to sort of treat those health issues. Um, and so we've seen some pretty dramatic results for trees that have been struggling, uh, sort of historically been struggling with some sort of nutritional issue. Um, this tree in particular is a great example of that. This is a, a Tucker Oak. It's a California Oak. Um, and for a number of years, it has sort of uh, put out very minimal to little growth. Um, the color has also been on the paler yellow side. Um, where for many years, I would not prune this tree at all, just because there was really nothing to prune. It would just sort of push out its leaves. And while in bonsai, we are trying to go for controlled minimal growth, this definitely wasn't a sign of, of optimum sort of bonsai health, it was sort of a larger nutritional issue. And so as a result, this tree has really responded positively to it, um, as we can just see with the color. Uh, and also last year was the first year I really actually had to prune this due to the elongation and, and extensions of its growth required it to actually be pruned. So one of the other dramatic changes to our trees is not only in their color and sort of the, the growth, but the production of fruit and flower. Um, this one, this spring it produced copious amounts of flower, we can sort of see some of the, the, the sap, the, sort of the pollen sacs are still uh, hanging out on the tree. But then what also was unique last year was the first time this tree produced acorns, which is uh, something I'd never seen happen uh, in the last 10 years as well. Um, this tree is one of the examples of sort of the impact of this more targeted approach to fertilizer.